Hey loves, thank you so much for joining me for today's element, water. The element of water is super sensual, super fluid, and really gives you that opportunity just to, to be as one with your body. Before we begin though, I want to show you what the flow will be, just so you have it in mind before we get going, and so that when it comes to it, you might be able to find that sense of fluidity, just that little bit more on your mat. So when you're ready, let's, let's come to down dog. Send the right leg to sky, inhale. Option to scorpion the back here, foot towards the head, heart between the upper arms. We're stepping forward between hands or in place of right hand. Climb to a high lunge. Back bend optional. And as we melt down to earth, ground down to the heel and the outer blade of left foot, bowing down, humble warrior. Now, if pressing the hands together, doesn't feel quite right for you here or if we don't quite have the rotation of the shoulders to bring arms over the head this might be where you grab a towel and give yourself a little bit of room between those arms i'm going to grab a hold of my hands when we're here in this deep lunge inhale pulsate the chest wave the back and exhale bow down a little deeper here might be where we modify in our flow pulsate the chest release your bind and come to skandasana ninja squat as i crawl to the back of my lap my mats left hand to earth extended side angle so now i'm pressing down to the outer blade of the right foot lift up a little higher onto the fingertips so we can lift left rib cage away from the thigh and find a little bit of strength if that feels too deep for you totally fine to come to the the forearm pressing against the thigh instead this again will be where we modify in time, changing it up and playing into quite a deep pose, Vishnu Matrasana. For now, we circle the right arm, come down to a low lunge and step it back into your plank, hover down. Urdhva Mukha, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Now, as we face the back, we rise high onto the balls of the feet, way through the spine, come to a high plank pose. Hover the knees off the ground, arch the back. <sighs> Slide into down dog. I like to call these rolling vinyasas or rivers because we're emulating that wave that you might find in the sea. That wave that crashes against the shore, rolling, rippling through the back and exhaling. <sighs> Same thing sliding back. And maybe as we take our third and final round, we might begin to feel the core activate and that core helps us find a little massage a little bit more of a roll through the back of course you can always do this with knees on the ground let's try that one more time together remembering that this will change as we continue our cycles we continue with each mandala each half round we change it up so option to draw the knees to the chest or scorpion the back as we step forward and into our high lunge Back bending and exhale, grounding through the outer edge of left foot. Humble warrior bowing down. Inhale, pulsate chest. Staying there, exhale, going down a little deeper. Inhale, pulsate chest. This time letting go of the hands and we come to skandasana and ninja squat. So I'm now facing the left of my mat. Crawling to the front, extended side angle. Now in time, we'll build up to our Vishnu Matrasana. At this point, we're finding the bind of the outer edge of the left foot, pressing left heel forward. Again, there's stages though, so if we're not quite there in our practice, this will be a great, a great flow to build you up into that pose. It's also a great flow to allow us that option to practice whew, our Kundinyasana too. So getting a little, little upper body in there as well. Upward dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. And we're facing the front. Today we're playing with dolphin pose in these bridgers. And playing for some of us maybe different variations of the legs, maybe different variations to get up into our pincha. But certainly different variations to arrive with, to keep with the target. 
to keep with the activation and the attention of the inner line of thighs and body. Whew. So hopefully all that makes sense and I'll see you on that soon.